Let's take a nice deep breath in together. And as you slowly release the breath, let the singing bowl bring you into stillness. Happy Tuesday afternoon. I'm glad you're able to join me today. So I am starting at the edge of my seat, hopefully with a nice tall back, nice soft shoulders, nice long neck. Let's take a few moments to close our eyes, feel our feet firmly rooted to the floor, feel our sit bones in our, in our derrieres firmly rooted to our chairs. And let's begin to connect breath and body, bringing the breath in nice and slow and deep through the nose. Noticing how the belly rises on the inhale and softens and relaxes on the exhale. And let's take a few moments with the breath, following the breath through the body, noticing how we feel as we begin our practice this afternoon. Now gently opening your eyes, let's relax our arms down by our sides and let's inhale up and exhale down. And let's inhale up the front, stretching up to the ceiling and then gently twisting at the waist to the right and open your arms to this beautiful Tuesday. Take two nice deep breaths here. And let's inhale our arms back up through center and exhale, turning to the left and opening our arms to this beautiful Tuesday. Two breaths here. And on your next inhalation, bring yourself back up through center, stretching up nice and tall, and relaxing your arms down, placing them on the back of your chair. Sitting nice and tall, let's squeeze our shoulder blades together and arch our back, looking up to the ceiling, feeling a nice stretch in the chest, a nice, a nice lengthening 
in the front of the body as well. A nice stretch here. Breathing nice and deep. And then let's release this stretch and place our hands in our laps and bring our shoulders up to our ears and squeeze and then round the shoulders forward. Bring your chin to your chest, rounding the back. You might look into your belly button, tilt your pelvis up, giving the spine a nice stretch, a nice rounding stretch and cat pose and breathe here. And then release this stretch, breathe yourself all the way up to a nice tall seat. Once again, placing your hands on the back of the chair and release the breath as you're sitting here. Little transition. Now let's take another deep breath in and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Arch the back as you release the breath. And just notice if this stretch is just a little bit deeper than the first time we did it. Breathe nice and deep here, relaxing the muscles. And then relax your shoulders, release the shoulder blades, come back to that nice tall center space, placing your hands at the tops of your thighs. And again, let's bring our shoulders up to our ears and then round them forward. And as you do that, if you didn't the first time, really actively try to stretch between your shoulder blades as you are rounding down, chin to chest, rounding your back, tilting your pelvis up, just getting a really nice stretch for the back, a little bit of tightening and isometrics for the core in the front. And then relax between your shoulder blades and let's let our breath bring our chest all the way up, releasing this cat pose, coming into a nice tall seat here. Taking one transition breath and we're gonna do that stretch to both, both directions again. Take a nice breath here. So now bring your shoulders up to your ears and squeeze, squeeze your shoulder blades together, hands to the back of your chair, nice long back, arching your back, looking up to the sky, feeling a nice stretch in the front of your chest and the body, front of the body and in your chest, we'll get it right. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, breathe here. Now relax your shoulders, release the squeeze of your shoulder blades. Come back to that nice tall center space, hands on your thighs, 
and let's bring our shoulders up to our ears. Inhale here. And as you exhale, round your upper back, bring your shoulders forward, bring your chin to your chest, really stretch between your shoulder blades, getting that nice long stretch and relax into this stretch. You might feel your back stretch toward the back of the chair, tilt your pelvis up, feel your belly button reach back to kiss the spine, tighten your lower abdomen and breathe here. And then release your shoulders and the stretch between your shoulder blades and inhale yourself back up let your chest lead you're coming back up nice and tall let's take a resting breath right here and let's go into a nice spinal twist taking our right hand and placing it on the outside of the left thigh the left arm comes to the back of the chair, sitting nice and tall. Let's take a nice deep breath in here. And as we release the breath, let's turn and look over the left shoulder. And breathe into this nice spinal twist. On your next inhalation, let's bring ourselves back to center, placing our hands in our laps and release the inhale here. And just staying with your natural breath rhythms, place your left hand on the outside of the right thigh. Your right arm comes to the back of the chair. On your next inhale, just make your Make sure your posture is nice and tall. And as you exhale, look over the right shoulder and release into this spinal twist. And let's just breathe nice and deep here. On your next inhalation, bring yourself back to that nice tall center space and take a resting breath here. Now let's just release any tightness or tension in your neck. Let's bring your right ear to your right shoulder, following the rhythm of your breath, inhaling back to center, and exhaling to the other side. Let's do this one more time to each side. And 
And as your head comes back to that nice tall center space, then gently turn your head to the right, like you're backing your car out of a parking space and following the rhythm of your breath, inhaling back to center and exhaling to the other side. And let's do this one more time to each side. And as your head comes back to that nice tall center space, then let's just take a wider seat and we're going to do sun salutation from the chair. So relax your arms down by your sides and let's inhale up and exhale down, placing your hands on your shins. Inhale, let your chest bring you halfway up and exhale, relax down. Stretch your arms straight out in front of you and inhale yourself all the way up to a nice tall seat, leaving your arms at shoulder height and exhale, flatten your palms. And let's rest here for a moment. Now bending your elbows on the inhale, bring the backs of your hands to your shoulders. And exhale your hands to your laps. Inhale your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze your shoulder blades together and arch your back, looking up at the ceiling. Take two nice breath here, breaths here. And then release your shoulders, relax your upper back, coming to a nice tall seat in center. Now stretch your legs out and flex your feet up. Inhale your arms up and exhale, lean forward into a nice table bend, coming down into a modified downward dog from the chair. And just notice where you feel the stretch here in your body. Take two nice deep breaths here. And engage your core and let it bring you all the way up, bringing your legs back, hands on your lap, sitting nice and tall. Take a breath here. Now inhale your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze and squeeze your shoulder blades together, arch your back, looking up at the ceiling, feeling a stretch 
feeling how your core muscles hold you in this position. Two breaths here. Upward facing dog, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then release your shoulders, relax between your shoulder blades. Sitting nice and tall, relax your arms down by your sides. And let's inhale up. And exhale, dive all the way down, placing your hands on your shins. Inhale your chest halfway up. And exhale down. Now let's come into ragdoll pose. Really relax your shoulders, relax your back. See if you can lengthen your back just a little bit. Nice flat back. So try to get your, um, your, your spine, your neck, your head in a nice alignment. Try not to drop your head. Relax your shoulders. Shake your arms out just a little bit. Make sure that right they're just hanging loosely from your shoulders. Just a little movement here. And then let's come to stillness. And we're adding a forward fold or a ragdoll pose and a forward fold with a twist to our sun salutation. So let's anchor the left arm to the left leg and bring the right arm up, forward fold with a twist. Breathe nice and deep here. And let's relax the right arm down and anchor the right arm to the right leg and let's bring the left arm up forward fold with a twist and then let's relax the left arm down Coming back into ragdoll pose. And once again, make sure your arms are hanging loosely from your shoulders. And let's stretch our arms straight out and engage our core and come all the way up. Stretching up to the ceiling, interlace your fingers. Let's do those little teeny stretches for our rib cage. So lean to the right, lean to the left, really feeling that nice stretch at the ribs. Lean to the right, lean to the left, lean to the right, lean to the left. Lean to the right, lean to the left. One more time to each side, lean to the right and lean to the left. And then come up to center, release your hands, stretch straight up, nice stretch. And then relax your arms down the front, placing your hands on your thighs. We're gonna wake up the core a little bit. Let's inhale here. And exhale, let's lean forward, hinging at the hips. And following the rhythm of your breath, let's just take our body all the way around, going off to the right, making that big circle with our bodies. Going off to the right and coming to the back. No resting on the back of the chair. And coming to the left. And back to the front. And over to the right. 
just notice how this feels as you move through this movement and to the back. Make sure your core is doing the work and to the left. And to the front. And one more time around to the right, at least in this direction. And to the back. And to the left. And to the front. And let's go the other direction. So let's go off to the left. Nice and slow. Let's go to the back. And come around to the right. And to the front. And off to the left. And to the back. And to the right. And to the front. And one more time around, off to the left. And to the back. And to the right. And to the front. And now let's just inhale ourselves back up nice and slow using your core. To that nice tall center space. And let's go into another spinal twist, placing the right hand on the outside of the left thigh. The left arm comes to the back of the chair. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, release and look over your left shoulder. And take two nice deep breaths here. On your next inhale, bring yourself back to center and release your breath here. As you place your left hand on the outside of the right thigh, the right arm comes to the back of the chair. Nice tall back here, sitting nice and cozy in your yoga seat. Take a nice deep breath here. And as you release the breath, look over your right shoulder into this nice spinal twist. Let's take two nice deep breaths. And then on your next inhale, bring yourself back to center. And let's take a nice resting transition breath here. Now let's stretch out the right leg, flex the foot up, place the right hand at the top of the thigh and let it slide all the way down. And notice where you can touch or hold on your foot, breathing into the stretch. The more you flex your foot up, the more of a stretch you'll get in your calf muscles. Just ease into this stretch with two nice breaths.
and then let your right hand slide back up your leg and bring your right leg back and let's stretch out the left leg. Flex your foot up, place your hand at the top of the thigh and let it slide all the way down. And whatever you can reach for, use your breath to relax the muscles and see if that helps you make that reach just a little bit deeper. And let's take two breaths here. And then let's let our hand slide back up the left leg and bring the left leg back. Now, we're at the, seat, the edge of our seat and our feet are about hip width apart. And sitting nice and tall, see yourself in this position. And create the intention of coming up out of your seat into chair pose. See yourself do it. Stretch your hands out in front of you. Make sure that you feel your feet firmly planted on the floor. And let's breathe ourselves up into chair pose. Now, while we're here in chair pose, relax your lower back. Try to stretch your arms a little bit forward. Get a little bit of a stretch in between your shoulder blades. Now bring your arms all the way around to the back and clasp your hands together and stretch your clasped hands out and down, getting a nice stretch for your shoulders. A little bit of work for the legs, but a really nice stretch here. And breathe. Now re release your hands and bring your arms to the front. Bring them up and push yourself all the way up, nice and tall, interlacing your fingers overhead, keeping your knees soft. Let's lean to the right for full crescent moon. And let's come up through center and let's lean to the left for full crescent moon. And then let's come all the way up. Now we've done around the world a couple of times. So let's take our feet just a little bit wider and pretend you're holding a ball. We usually use our balls, but pretend you're holding a ball. You can keep your um, fingers interlaced or you can, you know, kind of stretch them out a little bit and hold that pretend ball, whatever works for you. We're gonna go around to the right. And as we come down to the side, we're going to turn our bodies to the floor and then come all the way down. And then bodies to the, or the front of the body to the floor and then come up. Oh, use the side muscles. Woo. That was really hard. Let's try that again. Let's go to the right coming down the side. And as you've reached your maximum stretch here, 
then twist your body so your the front of your body comes like facing the floor and come all the way down and then your body's facing the floor but now you got to come up so we're going to come up using the muscles on the side of the body Whoa. Take a breath here, a well-deserved breath. We're gonna go the other direction. So let's go off to the left. Nice side bend here. When you finish that side bend, then turn the front of your body to the floor nice and slow. Come all the way down. And then as we come to the other side, and we've got to come up, we're going to use our side muscles and come all the way up. Oh yeah. One more. I promise. Let's go up to the left. Nice stretch here. And then twist so the front of your body faces the floor, come all the way down. You are breathing. And come across. And then now we've got to come up. So come up to that side stretch. Okay, around the world. Let's release our hands. Stretch our arms straight out. Wiggle your fingers. This is five-pointed star right here. Let's try a little balance. Can you come up on your toes? It helps to look at something that's not going to move. So I can't look at me in the camera. <laughs> I have to look straight ahead. So ready? Come up on your toes, wiggle your fingers, full shining star. We've been around the world four times, and now we are full shining stars. Wiggle your fingers, stay up on your toes, Woo, high, high, and then slowly come down, five-pointed star, and relax your arms down. Let's roll our shoulders up to our ears and squeeze and relax our shoulders down the back body. Let's bring our shoulders up the back and squeeze and relax our shoulders down the front. Make sure your chair is right behind you. Let's inhale up and exhale. Let's slowly come down into our yoga seats. Let's cozy up into our yoga seats. Placing our hands gently in our laps. Our feet are flat on the floor. Let's take a few moments to just ease into this time for quiet and rest, bringing breath and body together, following the breath through the body, noticing how we feel after this practice this afternoon.
relaxing your arms down by your sides. We're going to end our practice today with the eight actions of chi. I particularly like this movement, especially toward the end of the day, because it encourages between the breath and the slow movements, it encourages a sense of peace and well-being. So let's take a moment to relax here with the eight actions of cheese, chi. So we're going to gather energy and we're going to raise it up. And we're going to expand on that energy. And then we're going to consolidate it, bring it together. And we're going to let that energy flow in. And let the energy flow out. And then feel as the energy disperses, or it falls and then disperses. So if you want to place a word instead of the word energy, a word that is, you know, creates an intention for you like love, we can gather the love and raise it up. And we can expand that feeling of love. And we can bring it together, we can consolidate it. And we can let the love flow in and let it flow out from the very center of our being. And then feel the release as the love relaxes and disperses. So whatever word you would like to put in, you can use energy, you can use love, you can use joy, whatever word suits you and fills your heart right now, place it in the eight actions of chi as we do it one more time. So let's gather and raise up. And let's expand. And let's bring it together, consolidate it. And let it flow in. And let it flow out. And let it relax and fall. And let it disperse. And bringing your hands together in prayer pose at your heart center. Let's take one more nice deep breath here. I wish you a wonderful afternoon, evening, and a happy day on Wednesday, and I'll see you again on Thursday. Namaste.